I and LAPD are working together after burglars stole tens of millions of dollars from a money storage facility in Silmar. Our Karma Dickerson joining us live now outside that facility with more details about what's being called one of the biggest heists in LA history. Karma. It's pretty incredible when you consider that it happened in this building just over my shoulder. Now, to take a look at it, you wouldn't know that it was different than any other office park except for the large amount of armored vehicles outside, begging the question of just how many people knew what was inside and how to access it. And another twist, we're finding out that this actually didn't happen at night. Police believe that it happened in the middle of the day, Easter Sunday. When millions of dollars are stolen from the place where the money is supposed to be the safest. It's just mind blowing that you were never suspected. There are no shortage of questions, even from the people working at the company guarding the cash. How? Why? You know? It's just, it's hard. I'm still trying to process it. About 1230 Sunday afternoon, someone tunneled their way into the Garda World cash storage facility in Silmar according to what was initially reported to LAPD. The FBI says they made their way out with millions of dollars. But the only external sign something is out of the ordinary, a section of the building boarded up. They knew what they were doing. They knew when to go. Garter World is a security company. People might recognize them best from their armored cars. According to their website, their services also include cash services and cash vault services. Absolutely. Scott Selby is an L.A.-based attorney and co-author of Flawless, the story of the largest diamond heist on record. He says cash businesses like laundromats, supermarkets, and cannabis dispensaries rely on cash services businesses for day-to-day -day operations. You need a way to get that cash somewhere safe. You're not going to just want to walk down to the bank and deposit $30,000. So there's services that come and pick it up. He says the Garda World Silmar location may be ideal for both business and thieves. So location is everything, both if you're running a cash management company and if you're a thief. And so this warehouse is in the San Fernando Valley, and it's about four minutes away from two different freeways. FBI sources have told NBC News they're still trying to confirm the amount taken. But the LA Times reports it could be as much as $30 million. We disguised the voice of this employee who tells us he was shocked to learn the building potentially had that much money inside. I mean, it was, I didn't know there was $30 million, whatever the amount is in that building. Selby says investigators will be trying to find out if the company had an unusually large amount of money on hand at the time of the burglary. Because if that is unusual to have that much money, then the LAPD and the FBI will want to know who knew about that on the inside and then see if the thieves found out that way. Selby also said he expects this money to be hard, if not impossible, to trace because unlike, for example, stealing from a bank where there's a potential of serial numbers being recorded, this is money that's coming in from many different sources. It's the same money that we would pay to the grocery store for buying orange juice or to a gas station clerk. All that money put together, taken to one place, it's unlikely that those serial numbers were ever recorded. Reporting live in Silmar, Carmen Dickerson, NBC4 News.